ourselves from the homework, one of the last ones in chapter 2. We have a big number of waters and a big number of ammonias. We're going to find the number of hydrogens. This is essentially two problems in one. you got to do each problem separately, add the answers. Okay? All right. And for the home viewer, you should know the numbers are random generators. You might not have these numbers, but the process will be the same. So you take 3.2 times 10 to the 25th, and let me make sure I have the units right. It's, uh, that's the number of molecules. So this is molecules of water. I don't want molecules, I want hydrogen. So it's going to be a pretty quick step here. For every one molecule of water, there's two H atoms. Hopefully that makes sense. Two atoms in water. And so that's going to be some number of H atoms. Okay, you can calculate that one at home. Is that okay? Okay, same thing for the other one. 8.9 times 10 to the 24th. Molecules of NH3 times three hydrogen atoms for every one molecule of NH3. And that's going to be another number of H atoms. So your final answer is the sum of these two numbers. Is that okay?